Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in my previous video, I have shown you that if the user is logged out, then we cannot allow the user to access the protected routes like slash me. So we get this error. So now let's protect our route on the front end. I simply go to my VS Code and close this profile. And in the components folder, I'm going to create my new folder here that is called route. Okay, in the route, I'm going to create a new file here that is called protected route.js. Protected route protected dot js and racfe to create my basic markup okay so that is okay so RACFE to give my basic markup and and first of all I have to bring in the fragment so fragment and also I have to bring in the route and the redirect because if user is not logged then you have to redirect it and I bring in from the uh, react order DOM so yeah, router DOM, and then let's also bring the bring in the uh, import the use selector because I have to select the user also from the React Redux. Okay, and in the props we would pass from the app.js. So whatever whatever route we want to protect, we will pass the component. So let's gonna type here the component. And we will bring that component in as a small com small like we will bring this component as this component and also we will get from the uh, the rest parameters and I will show you in a minute when we will pass that from our app or js right let's put in here the fragment okay and then let's first of all also bring in our user to check that if it's authenticated or not. So I pull out is authenticated loading and the user okay equals to use selector state dot off all right so I simply check that if loading is equal to false okay if loading is false and We will simply route and the route we have to pass uh, the options. So for that options, I will simply put in here. Oops, route. I will simply spread here the dot 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 rest, and after the rest, I simply have to have the render. So render equals to props. Okay, and in that first of all I check that if is authenticated is equal to false. Okay, so if is authenticated is equal to false, this means that user is not logged in. So I will simply return from here with redirect to slash login. Okay, and then um I have to also close this route like this simply save it and oh, we also have to basically return the component and we pass in the dot 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 props I will explain all this code in a minute simply save it and now if I go to my app.js I simply have to bring in my protected route so import protected route from dot slash components slash route slash protected route and whatever route we want to protect I will simply type here the protected route simple as that simply save it and now let's check it out if I go back and you can see that I am already redirected if I go to now 
slash me so i am redirected to login so login first to access this resource all right so this means that it is it is authenticating our users what happens is if i go back this will pass in the protected routes the path the component all right we will get our component as this component because we are passing oops we are passing from here the component and then we also have to we are passing the path and the exact and there can be multiple options so we will get that using the dot dot rest okay and then we'll bring in our user and then the fragment check that if loading is equal to false make sure that the user is loaded in our state and if if loading is equal to false, then simply have to put here the route. Okay, so on which route I have to go? This is what we have to decide. So in the route, I will spread the all the options. For example, in this case, it will spread the path and exact here. So in the route, it is going to put exact and path here, and then we have to decide which component we want to render. Okay, so. I simply put in here render props uh, these like this that we have here so we'll check that if is authenticated is equal to false this means that user is not logged in so we will simply redirect to login and if it is true then we will simply return from here component which is this one and we will pass in our props and go to that particular route all right so in this way we can protect our out on the front end and there can be a lot of other ways that you can implement for this but this is the most simple way that I can show you right now okay so now whenever we want to make our route protect we simply type here protected route if we don't want to make any route protected then we simply have to use here route itself like this right I hope that you understand so that's the end of this video I, I hope that you understand each and everything you can definitely ask me question if you don't understand anything about it so in my next video, I want to first of all update the profile of the currently logged in user. If user want to change its email, name or profile picture, then I also want to do that. Okay. So I will see you in the next video.